What is up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture, Hop Farm, and I have been challenged. Over at um, Zero to Homestead, challenged me and tagged me in a video on a livestock challenge. What kind of livestock do we have? What kind of livestock do we want? And why do we have this livestock? So the first livestock I'm gonna go over is chickens. They're the first ones we got, the first livestock we got and we have a couple different breeds and I'll tell you my favorite breed my favorite breed is right here some people call them Dominickers and I call them Bard Rocks I think they're about the same thing I think um, they look really really similar they're striped birds black and white they're my favorite why are they my favorite they seem to have one of the best demeanors and they don't seem to get killed as easy by predators. I'm not sure why. I have a hypothesis, but I am not 100% sure on it. It's just a guess. Um, is that it's a lot like a zebra, in my opinion. The stripes on these chickens, when they're all humped together, I think predators have trouble picking one out. There's a reason zebras have stripes like that and they huddle together and I think maybe these stripes and spots help them as well, help to keep them from getting killed by aerial predators and others. But if I had nothing but one chicken, it would be these right here, the barred rocks. We also have some different ones. My second choice would be with where that big guy is right there. He's an English Orpington. Uh, he's, they're big birds, so they're really good for meat and pretty good for eggs. The Bard Rocks are really good for eggs and pretty good for meat. They're pretty good dual purpose bird, the Bard Rocks and the English Orpingtons. In here we also have um, a Rhode Island Red, there's a Black Australorp, a Golden Laced Wyandotte, and that white one, I don't know what that white one is. We've got a few chickens that were hatched out by schools. Hatched out by some elementary schools and uh, they didn't know what breed they had. They were just hatching out chickens. That's what mostly is in this chicken tractor. It's a bunch of half breeds or breeds. I'm not sure what they are because we got them from the schools that did hatchings. I think there's some uh, some Americanas in here, some green or some blue egg layers I, by their feathers and their the color of their feet. Also a black, black couple black ocelorps in there. In this chicken tractor over here, we have Rhode Island Reds and Golden Lace Wine Dots. And they're working these garden beds over here. So why do we have chickens? Well, the first initial thing that pops into most people's head is food, eggs, meat. Yes, eggs, meat. Those are two things we have chickens for. I also have chickens to work for me. How do they work for me? They till by scratching. They de-weed by eating the weeds and scratching out the weeds. They debug by eating the bugs. They fertilize <laughs> with their manures. Like right now we're standing in a, uh, in a back to Eden style garden covered in wood chips. And they're coming through and making sure none of the weeds pop out and they're fertilizing behind them. So there's multiple th reasons why I have chickens. Food and work. And they're also fun to look at. Another livestock we have on the farm is ducks. We have Pekin ducks. They're a white duck. They get big. They are good for meat. They are good for eggs. And just like the chickens, they're good for pest control, like slugs. If you have a slug problem in your garden, you don't have a slug problem. You, don't ha you have a not enough duck problem. <laughs> so if you have some slugs, get you a duck or two and put them around in your garden before you plant in your garden. They'll clear out all the slugs for you. Not only do they eat slugs, 
but we have a wet, really wet property out here. So I will move them around to different puddles and stuff and where water um, just kind of settles and they will eat the mosquito larva. So they're very good for, for pest control. Their eggs are a little bit different than chicken eggs. They're a lot richer. Uh, if you do baking, duck eggs are great to bake with. And of course you can eat their meat. So ducks are multi-purpose, just like my chickens. I try to get multi-purpose out of all my animals. I don't want them just for one thing. If I'm gonna get an animal, I'm gonna try to use it for multiple reasons. You don't have to work as hard if you're getting your animals to work for you. And stacking principles, stacking functions is a key design in permaculture. Not just what can a chicken do for you, it can give you eggs. Well, what else can a chicken do for you? It can get your garden beds ready. It can, if you have a tick problem, so they love the bugs, they'll eat the bugs. So, whew, pulling this trailer, this little wagon up the hill. Next stop is pigs. Hey, big guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I know. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Yes, one of the big livestock we have on the farm are pigs. These pigs, let's see, mama over here is a uh, Yorkshire Hampshire cross. Daddy is, we were told he is a Yorkshire Berkshire cross, but his Berkshire might be old spot after looking at their babies. We're gonna go up to mama and her babies next and I'll show you what I mean about how we've got spotted pigs out of these white pigs here. Her sister's up the hill, looks just like her, white, no spots. And then Floppy's all white. He's got a couple spots on his head. He's got a spot right here on his head. And Mom up there's got a spot above her eye. But other than that, they're all white pigs. And what do I have these pigs for? I have them for meat and for bush hogging. Bush hogging? Yeah. Instead of buying a tractor and a bush hog to keep this land clear, I've got these guys. They do a wonderful job at clearing land. If you have a bunch of, say, black ray briars or some sort of thorns that you want out of an area, raise you, a, raise you a large pig in that area. They will clear it out. After you, after they clear it out, you can harvest the pig. All right, so there's Mama and her babies. She's laying down let them feed. That's another reason I have pigs, is to breed them so I can have a constant supply of pork. We also sell pasture-raised pork. And when they have a big litter, we sell the babies as well. So they are a source of income, they're a source of meat, and they are workers to clear out any brush or fields I need cleared out. As you can tell, they do a good job of clearing. They will massage that land and get that stuff out and then you can put in what you want to put in. So yeah, there's third shift. He's on pasture sanitation. Going around, spreading apart their, their manure, eating the bugs that are in the manure, any corn that's left over that passed through their system, the pig system, and it's in their manure. This guy gobbles it up. Because he can't get in close enough when they're eating. <laughs> Piggy's playing with the chickens. I can tell you, like uh, like I said before, the mama's a white pig, 
floppy down there, there's a white pig. But then we got the spots in this one. And this one's got more Berkshire look to it, more solid black. Maybe that's what happens when you get a Berkshire cross in some Hampshire and Yorkshires is that they get spotted like this. Not 100% sure. But we were told that our boar down there is Berkshire, Yorkshire, and the mamas are Yorkshire, Hampshire. So a bunch of shires. They grow fast. That's why I got them like I don't that's why I didn't get go for like a, a Cooney Cooney or American Guinea hog. I wanted something that grew out fast and that could um, do more to the land than a Cooney Cooney or American Guinea hog. Those smaller hogs like that don't root up as much. They won't uh, they won't take out the blackberry roots like you want them to if you want them to clear out land. The little ones won't do that. They'll clear the top of it, but they won't clear the bottom. They won't clear inside the ground very much. These guys have no problem. I pasture raise them. I raise them outside. I'm not down with raising them in a big factory on concrete. I want them to get muddy. I want them to be pigs. I want them to be pigs running around playing with chickens. Isn't that right? So these guys aren't livestock, but I'm gonna show them to you anyways. We have some indoor doggies. This is Boo Boo. And Dutchess. Dutchess is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever and Lab Mix. And Brew, you guys are probably gonna laugh at this. He's a Beagle and German Shepherd mix. It's a funny, fun little mix. I can just imagine the two. Mommy and Daddy. Probably a funny looking couple. Those are our indoors. We also have an indoor cat. Where is she? Here she is. This is Callie. She's the oldest one of the bunch. And we also have a couple outdoor cats that I'm going to show you. Here's one of them. She doesn't have a name. We call her Baby Kitty. Hey, Baby Kitty. She's a stray that showed up. And let's see. Why do we have outdoor cats? You guys can probably take a good guess at this. Mice and field rats and moles and all the vermin that try to eat the pig food, the chicken food, and my vegetables in the garden. We do have another outdoor cat. Uh, whiskers don't know where she's at she might be out hunting right now she's a big hunter she loves to hunt she catches at least two mice a day she's a really good hunter that's why we have outdoor cats I found whiskers hey baby girl what you doing sweetheart come here come here what is it hey baby she's our fierce hunter She's a little cat, but man, she can take down some mice. Yes, you can, baby. She's a long-haired cat, so she stays warm in the winter. She's been out here hunting all. In the snow, she came even came out to do a little hunting. She's a pretty one. She was a stray that showed up, too. Hey, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, that's what we have and why, as far as livestock. Uh, we'd also like to get a livestock guardian dog. Uh, not really for, you know, this, for the pigs, uh, but more for the chickens and the ducks. We do have fox problem, raccoons, possums, skunk. Uh, there's uh, coyotes, there's dogs. You know, that we do have a, a wide range of predators out here in a... Uh, a livestock guardian dog would help with the amount of attacks that we have. I usually, if I don't want any attacks, I definitely need to keep my chickens and my ducks and stuff inside a chicken tractor. That's why I usually have a chicken them inside chicken tractors and behind an electric net um, for the added protection. But a dog would be great. Uh, my wife really wants cows. Not, not right now. Uh, we, the land we have right now is not conducive for cows. It's too wet for them. Maybe if we get some more land cleared, 
and some more infrastructure for cows. So I want to tag two other channels in this challenge. I want to tag the city stead. Been following you guys for quite a while now, and I haven't heard very much about you guys talking about uh, animals or livestock. I've heard a little bit about chickens, but I'd like to hear about what you guys would like to have on your city stead and what you have had. Uh, the other people I would like to challenge is Square One Farm. What do you have, and what breeds do you have? What breeds do you like, and what breeds do you have? Do you plan on having in the future? All right, guys, I'm gonna put their information at the end of this video, um, and I'm gonna put them down in the description as well. So go over and follow their channels, give them a subscription. They got some good stuff, and of course, thank you guys very much. Make sure you subscribe, like, all that good stuff.